Okay, now that you have it all <laughs> colored in, we are going to divide up the background into some square shapes. That was something that the um, Sonia Dulani did pretty often. She liked squares in the background. So, or rectangles, square-ish shapes. So I'm just going to make a line there. A line there. You can do these however you want to. We're just dividing each side up into little rectangles. Not necessarily matching up. See, here's a rectangle. Here's one. They don't necessarily match up. Now, what we're gonna do on the background is instead of using the primary and secondary colors, we have some other colors in our um, collection here that we can choose from. So I'm going to go with, oh, I don't know, let me see here. I'll probably black, because I love black. And then, I don't know, I'll probably do either the gray or the dark blue. Let me see here. Okay, definitely the gray. I'm gonna go with gray. You can go with whatever you want to. We're just gonna try to um, get away from these colors that we've used in the foreground so that they will really pop out from the background. So I'm gonna start with black. Outline my shape there. And fill in with black. Move on with gray. Oil pastels break really, really easily. Um, so if you're getting down to the paper like I am on most of these, you can peel it back a little bit, but you don't want to peel it back too far because the paper is literally what's holding <laughs> this stick together. Um, without the paper, they will just almost crumble in your hands. They break so, so easily. So peel back as you need to, but don't be surprised if you end up with a little piece like this when you do. <laughs> Did that earlier. You know, it almost looks nice to have one side dark and one side white. Kind of like that. <laughs> hmm, decisions, decisions. I guess I'll go with the plan, but if you want to leave one side white, that kind of looks cool.
Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it like this. You can keep going over and over and over and over with your, with your oil pastels to fill in all the little white circly bump textures faces that are popping up. If you wanna do that, you sure can. Um, but I think I'm gonna leave mine like this right now so that you're not having to um, watch me color over and over and over again. So next week, I think, is our last um, lesson for the semester. This is not how I wanted to end the semester. You know, we usually do an art show, so I'm kind of disappointed, or not kind of, I'm really disappointed about that. Um, but we just have to deal with what comes our way. So last next week will be our last lesson, not doing lessons at the studio over the summer. Um, we're still gonna be shut down. Um, so in studio lessons, we'll start back in September. But there are some things going on over the summer, some kind of fun, exciting things I can't wait to tell you about. Um, but I'm going to make you wait till next week. So join me next week and I'll tell you what's gone, going on at the studio and we will do our last project for the semester. Love you guys. Hope to see you soon. Bye, kids.